Thanks so much for watching the Ogsog podcast with the year. Just to let you know that this is a cut down version for YouTube where we take one of the segments and bring it here. If you want to watch the full episode, you can listen on Spotify or if you're part of our Patreon, you get the entire video version of this show. Links down below. And now, time for the Ogsog podcast. And uh, we're going to move right Jeez. along. Uh, we talked about Marvel a little bit earlier and uh, someone, one of us, posed a question. They said, do we believe that there's an oversaturation of Marvel and Marvel products that makes you not really care about what's going on? Ooh, so, that's you know, a that's hot topic. I would and imagine with like topic. any individual one, I'm assuming is what you mean. Uh, like you don't feel the need to keep up. Or... Well, I, I do keep up though. Today was the first night we're filming this or recording this on a Wednesday where I told my wife, oh no, we can watch Moon Knight tomorrow. And then she was like, no, no, we're watching it tonight. I was like, oh, okay. Um, but for me, this kind of stemmed from Mari telling me that she still hasn't seen Spider-Man No Way Home. And oh, that man. bothers me. Yeah, that that's such a good movie. That bothers me a lot. Yeah, that, that one's is good. Genuinely great movie. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like top three Marvel movies for me. Mm, and it's, it's not even that it's a great movie. It's just a movie that moved me and made me feel things. <laughs> that I want moved other people to me. To it's feel not this a movie. movie. It moved, moved to me. To me. Yeah, <laughs> in his bowels. Um, yeah, I mean, I hear that. I and, and I've only heard good things about um, No Way Home. I my my Marvel sort of like stoppage started right after um, Wandavision, okay. and oh, I haven't yeah. watched anything Marvel since then. And there's been a lot. Um, yeah, what, there's been a lot of stuff. What of phase are we in now? Is We're it, in four. We're in four. Yeah. What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Phase four. It's just a thing. Uh, it, it's how they track their 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 movie releases. I see. Because it always culminates to something. It normally like phase one led up to Avengers. Uh, I don't actually. So know phase three was like Endgame. Yeah. Phase two was what Civil War. I don't. I don't remember where 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 two ended. I feel like that would make or sense. Or Age of Ultron. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I, I'm the type of person that watched every Marvel film. Um, in the theaters, starting from the first one, and it, I, I, I think I tapped out probably at phase three, and and I don't know if it's a thing where I'm like I'm gonna come back again. Right now, I just feel like there's an overlord, lore, overlord. An overlord. There probably yeah, is an overlord. Yeah, is. overlord. Name is Walt Disney as well. Um, and I don't know. I, I'm just wanting to you know explore other things right now, seeing uh, other things. For, for me, like, do I think that it's oversaturated? There is a lot. There is a lot of content. You are not wrong there. And it's hard to keep up because there's so much content. Um, that being said, when Endgame happened, one month later, we got Spider-Man No uh, Far From Home. And I just wasn't emotionally ready. Like, it didn't have, like, an impact. I was like, this, I can't continue the story because mm. I just saw Endgame. Like, I'm just... Yeah. Was it Endgame? Yeah, it was... Yeah, well, you was also, like, you also cried like a wee bab during Endgame. It really affected you. I'm not uh, saying that in a, in a derogatory... Or in, like, a mean way. I mean, like... I'm just saying it had a very large emotional effect on you. It, not only the emotional effect, but the fact that it took 11 years to mm -hmm. tell one story. Mm -hmm. And then the story ended. And then the next, you just flip the page. The next I didn't month, realize like, oh, no, that no. those two were so close, Endgame yeah. and Far From Home. I really liked, or, uh, I'm sorry, Homecoming. I actually liked Homecoming, but. I thought it was really good. I, so for me, I'm not at the, the place where I, I'm like, I don't care anymore, but I no longer care about all of it. Like, I feel like mm -hmm. I can miss some of the Marvel stuff and just, like, I don't, there's just stuff I don't need to see anymore. <laughs> like, I went back and watched Eternals, and I was like, I didn't need to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I watched Eternals. Yeah. That, Eternals was the moment where I'm like, there's there's now Marvel stuff that exists that I don't, that's not mandatory for me to see. It, yeah. And I wonder if it's, because we're definitely in a place in Marvel movies where I don't, I don't know things anymore. Like, I don't know who Moon Knight is. I, yeah. I don't know who Adam is. I don't know who... Like, what else is coming out soon? Like, I also am confused uh, about, like, what are we America? working for now? America Chavez. Like, I feel, I feel like before it was like, okay, we're working towards all of these folks coming together and Yeah, because Thanos, Thanos yeah. was this big bad guy that was looming in the distance, and yeah, now there's not really the big bad yeah, guy. Yeah, and it we're, took we're everyone, that. so I don't know what the next thing is. We're, we're in like, that phase once 
part of storytelling again where you know we're looking at who these people are as individuals like we're looking at kate bishop we're looking at wanda where we're which i think is being set up as a villain uh so you're seeing all these individual stories but it's hard to come back to that after you've been together and, and so now some movies if it doesn't move the needle in the grand scheme of the mcu storytelling like it doesn't impact me as much um with moon knight this is the first time where i'm like i don't know if i needed this show to be week to week just confusing me and leaving me on a cliffhanger every week i kind of just wish it was a two-hour movie and tell me a good story yeah good, concise story i uh i don't even like i didn't know there was a new episode of moon knight out i like we watched it but it didn't even hook me enough really to be like Oh man, I can't wait to see this next episode of Moon Knight. I, I like. I'm not. I, hyped I, I just like. To, it has a lot uh, to do with pacing. I don't yeah. think that they do the pacing well on, on their shows. I don't even hate it. It just doesn't have me hyped. Like yeah. I, I almost feel like I just prefer the movie experience for a superhero thing. And like, I don't know. Like I just watched Severance, and so now like a superhero thing feels like, even if it is like somewhat real, well written. I started like, Severance. Oh, it's so good. Is it? And again, I just, I don't know if I'm in a place where I want to be confused. I'm like, stop trying to confuse me. Well, <laughs> it, I mean, it becomes clear, like everything like that. But yeah, I mean, if you, if you're not into it, I guess. But I, I feel like it took like, I don't know, four episodes before I was like, okay. And then like the twist in it is like so crazy. Yeah. Um, what was it? It was Watchmen. Watchmen, HBO series, I think oh. is a perfect show. That Watchmen's being said. Great. You know, the first four episodes, I was like, just stop trying to confuse me and just tell the story you want me to know. Yeah. I will I say any any hero needs a very good villain for them to be validated. And I feel like, um, me, and, and, and tell me if I'm wrong, because I haven't watched any of these shows. Like, what has been the best villain post Thanos so far in all of the Marvel stuff? Hmm, good question. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a good, hey, there you go. Because yeah. I, I, I need to know yeah. what we're fighting for at this point. I mean, in, in, <laughs> in what, Spider-Man? Spider well, I guess oh, I, yeah, I Green wanna... Goblin coming back was... Yeah, that was... Yeah. Yeah. Is he worse than Thanos? Well, well he's, no. not, he's no. not more powerful. Then what are we certainly. fighting for? But, but it's also funny, like, like level character yeah. to be everyone... Fantastic. Well, Thanos is just this... They did a good job of just making him physically imposing because when it comes to him as a fighter... Like, sure, he's powerful, but he's really getting most of his power from the, the stones. No, got to argue there. Uh, and I think it's one of the best storytelling scenes where they show you they don't tell you is the beginning of Infinity War where uh, Thanos fights Hulk and the, the, the Maw is like, no, 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 let him play with him. Mm -hmm. And then just Thanos, without any Infinity Stones, beats the crap out of the Hulk. Yeah, and I like, remember this. Thanos is really anyway. a character that I would have been fine with Hugh Jackman playing. If they wanted to cast Hugh Jackman as Thanos, <laughs> that's fine. He's a big six foot guy. He could have been Thanos. That's fine with me. But not Wolverine. I'm sorry. What are we talking about? And remember, what you're seeing here on YouTube is only part of the podcast. For the full podcast and all the stories and all the topics from that podcast, you're going to need to go to Patreon. And only there can you unlock the full podcast episodes of the Og Sog podcast so please go do that give it at least a, a check out a looky-loo and let us know what you think okay Og Sog wants you